Hello, welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about bedwetting in children. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. When children urinate without control while they sleep, it is called nocturnal enuresis. It's also known as bedwetting. Most children can control their bladder during the day and night by the age of 4. About 10% of children, aged 6 or 7 still can't stay dry, as they have day or nighttime accidents. If a child experiences a bladder control problem during sleep after the age of 7, it's worth looking into. Nocturnal enuresis is common for more than 5 million children in the US it is slightly more common in boys than girls. This issue can be frustrating for children, parents, and healthcare providers. As children spend more nights away from home, at camps, sleepovers, and field trips, it is more imperative to look for solutions. With patience and tools for treatment, most children will stop bedwetting. There are two types of nocturnal enuresis. The testing, care, and treatment for both types are very similar. Primary nocturnal enuresis describes children who never achieved dry nights since potty training, typically these children have no accidents during the daytime. Secondary nocturnal enuresis is when a child achieved consistent dry nights for at least six months but has now started bedwetting again. Mostly, this type of bedwetting is related to a stressful event, for example, the birth of a sibling, parent divorce, etc. Eating disorders and some medicines can cause secondary bedwetting. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Causes being lazy or willful is almost never a reason for a child's loss of bladder control. In a small number of cases, behavior may play a role. No matter the causes, parents need to be patient and supportive. Bedwetting is caused by a combination of things. 1. Family History, Genetics Bedwetting can be inherited. The bedwetting gene is strong among families. Half of all children who have this problem had a parent who also struggled with bedwetting. This percent increases to 75% if both parents had enuresis. Close relatives, aunts, uncles, and grandparents, may also share this gene, though you may not know it. A child without a family connection has only a 15% chance of bedwetting. 2. Slow development of brain bladder control. Children who wet their beds are often described as deep sleepers. Deep sleep affects the way the bladder communicates with the brain. Instead of waking up to use the toilet, the child's pelvic floor muscles relax and empty while the child sleeps. This brain bladder control will develop naturally over time, or speed up with treatment. 3. Smaller than expected bladder capacity. Some children who have enuresis have bladders that can only hold a small amount of urine. This condition does not allow the child to sleep through the night without wetting the bed. 4. Making too much urine while asleep. Your child's kidneys may make too much urine at night, and the bladder may not be able to hold it all. Normally, the brain produces a hormone called antidiuretic hormone, ADH, which slows the kidney's urine production. It helps make less urine at night. When the brain does not make enough ADH, or when the kidney stops responding to it, more urine is produced. The child will either have to wake up several times during the night to urinate or wet the bed. Caffeinated and carbonated drinks may also cause the kidneys to produce more urine. 5. Sleep Disorders Some children have sleep disorders such as sleepwalking or obstructive sleep apnea OSA. With OSA, less oxygen from poor breathing will cause the heart to produce atrial natriuretic peptide ANP. This substance will cause the kidneys to produce extra urine at night. 6. Constipation The rectum lies behind the bladder. If constipation causes stool to store in the rectum, it will push on the bladder. This limits the way the bladder can hold urine, causing leaks. 7. Stress Any form of stress can lead to bedwetting problems. If the stress from bedwetting itself affects your child or your family, it can make things worse. Children who wet the bed often fear being discovered and teased by their friends or siblings. Emotionally, a child can become withdrawn and nervous. Children with learning disorders or attention problems generally feel more stressed. These children commonly have bedwetting issues. Be aware of social stresses that can affect bedwetting, 
such as a new brother or sister, sleeping alone, starting a new school, a family crisis, an accident or trauma, treatment, limit fluids in the evening. It's important to get enough fluids, so there's no need to limit how much your child drinks in a day. However, encourage drinking liquids in the morning and early afternoon, which may reduce thirst in the evening. But don't limit evening fluids if your child participates in sports practice or games in the evenings. Avoid beverages and foods with caffeine. Beverages with caffeine are discouraged for children at any time of day. Because caffeine may stimulate the bladder, it's especially discouraged in the evening. Encourage double voiding before bed. Double voiding is urinating at the beginning of the bedtime routine, and then again just before falling asleep. Remind your child that it's okay to use the toilet during the night if needed. Use small night lights, so your child can easily find the way between the bedroom and bathroom. Encourage regular toilet use throughout the day. During the day and evening, suggest that your child urinate every two hours or so, or at least often enough to avoid a feeling of urgency. Prevent rashes. To prevent a rash caused by wet underwear, help your child rinse his or her bottom and genital area every morning. It also may help to cover the affected area with a protective moisture barrier ointment, or cream at bedtime. After treatment. With treatment, a child who is struggling with bedwetting can find long-term relief. Most often, in time, this problem will end. Coping with bedwetting. However, bedwetting can be extremely stressful for families. Several things can help you cope as you decide how to manage a child's bedwetting. Remember, bedwetting is not the child's fault. Avoid punishing or teasing your child. Encourage regular bathroom visits during the day. Your child should try to go at least five times per day and just before bed. Your child should have at least one bowel movement each day. The stool should be well formed and soft. Ask your pediatrician how to improve bowel health if necessary. Avoid foods high in sugar, carbonated, and caffeinated beverages in children. Drinking should take place mostly during the day, just sips one to two hours before bed. Have your child wear baby diapers when your child sleeps outside the home. To help manage bedwetting, use a mattress protector, washable or disposable products, and room deodorizers. After an accident, wash the child and use petroleum jelly to prevent skin chafing. Keep a calendar to write down how well a treatment is working. Remember that enuresis ends on its own for most children, rate of about 15% per year. Bedwetting, also called nighttime incontinence, or nocturnal enuresis, is involuntary urination while asleep after the age at which staying dry at night can be reasonably expected. Bedwetting is common and often runs in families. It can be upsetting, but most children and young people will grow out of it. Generally, Bedwetting before age 7 isn't a concern. At this age, your child may still be developing nighttime bladder control. If bedwetting continues, treat the problem with patience and understanding. Lifestyle changes, bladder training, moisture alarms, and sometimes medication may help reduce bedwetting. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.